Dubai's economy was built on oil, and it was a very large part of their GDP for more than three decades. But Dubai knew that the oil would not last forever, and they would need to find a new source of income. So they took a huge risk and spent tens of billions of dollars to completely transform the city into a luxury tourist destination to try and lower their reliance on crude oil exports. But can Dubai really survive without oil? And has their multi-billion dollar tourism plan actually worked out? Oil was first discovered off the coast of Dubai in the 1960s, and it quickly became a very important part of their economy. As the decades went by, the United Arab Emirates became more reliant on oil than anything else in their economy. But this dependency on oil would not last forever, so Dubai made a plan. A plan to spend tens of billions of dollars to transform the city into a modern-day tourist destination. So over the next two decades, Dubai began its transformation building three of the world's biggest artificial islands, the tallest building in the world, and much more. While the country generated $300 billion from crude oil exports within the past five decades, they basically had an unlimited budget to build what no other country had and compete in the tourism industry like no one has ever seen before. Dubai was taking a huge risk, but they thought it would pay off in the end if they offered something the rest of the world could not uninterrupted luxury tourism. With perfect weather and a great location between many major countries, they believed their massive investment would pay off. Throughout the early 2000s and into 2008, things were going considerably well, but the financial crisis of 2008 put a halt to Dubai's tourism plans. Just as the city celebrated the completion of the Palm du Mariah, the rest of the world suffered one of the worst economic downfalls in history. This begs the question, was it worth it for Dubai to invest all this money into tourism? Well, they really had no choice. With some oil reserves set to run out within just two decades, Dubai had to have a secondary income source, even if it wasn't as dominant as oil. So through 2010, 2011, and 2012, Dubai continued its rapid expansion and built up from the financial crisis that occurred in 2008. In May of 2013, Dubai launched the Dubai Tourism Strategy 2020, with the goal to attract 20 million visitors by the year of 2020, and included some of the most iconic and unique landmarks in Dubai, such as the Museum of the Future and the Dubai Frame. All of these ambitious developments were actually working out, and Dubai's tourist numbers continued to climb. In 2018, Dubai set another record with 15.9 million tourists, bringing in $74 billion for the country. Dubai's investment was paying off, and they were able to successfully change their economic dependence on oil and heavily rely off of tourism. Things were looking better in 2019, but took a sharp turn in 2020. The tourism market completely crashed, and Dubai saw some of the worst effects from it. Their economy fell 11%, since it heavily relied on tourism, retail, and travel. But one year later, things are beginning to pick up again, showing that even in times of economic despair, recovery can always turn things around. In 2009, 85% of the United Arab Emirates economy was based on oil exports, but in 2021, it's down to just 30%. So now back to the important question out of everything we've seen so far. Can Dubai survive without oil? Well, yes, they can, and here's why. Before the events of 2020, Dubai was able to double its tourist numbers in just 10 years, and they are continuing to develop more mega projects to keep these tourists returning year after year. They are now projecting 25 million tourists by 2025, as more incredible development projects get underway. Dubai's tourism development has also achieved positive press from all over the world, which has helped promote it even more. While the UAE government proposed this enormous project, they never expected the massive amount of media coverage from all over the world, which has helped promote tourism in the Middle East. 20 years after Dubai began its incredible transformation, we can see that it paid off big time and drastically helped their economy, and it also helped them lower their reliance on crude oil exports throughout the past 20 years. And with more of Dubai's oil reserves running low in 2022, we can tell that this was a very smart transformation and helped their country not rely on just oil to make an income. And they proved that a city known for just crude oil extraction could now be known as a tourist destination all across the world. I've made many other videos on Dubai's mega projects, so be sure to check them out here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.